Today on this side of town, it's all about snakes. Playtime City. We're actually making salt dough snakes. You'll need two cups of flour, one cup of salt, one tablespoon of oil, and three fourth cups of water. You want to mix all the ingredients up until it becomes like Play Doh. Then you want to roll it out and shape your snakes. Once you're done, put it on a baking pan and cook it for three hours at 200 degrees. I have two. Munch has two, and we have my nephew here, Caden, who has two. We have all our paints out. We actually have some acrylic, and we also have our tempera paint here as well, which we always use. You guys see that all the time. All right, so we are about to explore some patterns for snakes, and we're going to see what Caden wants to design. I am going to do large stripes. Large stripes, do you know what colors? Green, blue, and yellow. All right, Munch, what do you want to do with your snake? All right, for this long one, I'm going to have orange with some chaos symbols. Oh, you always have to have Sonic involved, don't you? So is it going to be a Sonic snake? Yes. yes. A, a, a super sonic snake. A super sonic snake. Well, that's going to come out cool. What about your small one? Do you know what you're going to do with that one yet? I don't know. All right, well, we'll come back to that one later. All right, for mine, I'm going to look in this book and see what kind of color patterns. I actually like this one, green and yellow. Oh, this is the one I saw earlier. I think I'm going to try this. It's kind of beige, yellow, and black. So we'll see how that comes out. And I will do that for the long straight snake. As far as my curly one, we're just gonna come back and see what that looks like. All right, guys, are you ready to start painting? Yeah! All right, let's get started. Snakes are part of the reptile family. They're like the cool cousins of lizards and turtles. Reptiles are animals that have dry, scaly skin and they lay eggs on the land. They are considered cold-blooded animals because they can't control their internal body temperatures. They rely on the earth to adjust their warmth. Snakes smell with their split tongue. It picks up chemical messages in the air that lets them know if food or an enemy is near. Snakes are like the superheroes of flexibility because they can twist and turn in all sorts of ways. Sizes of snakes vary. Some snakes are tiny like a pencil, while others are as long as a school bus. We have Caden working on a small snake now. What are you doing with this guy? I've made the head green and added blue and yellow because they also make green. And it adds a really good texture to the look. Awesome, and this snake is laying on top of his body, which is pretty cool. Oh, and a fun fact about me, I really like cats. Totally random. Okay, do cats catch snakes? Uh, sometimes. Snakes have no eyelids and can't blink. That's why it always looks like they're staring at something. Their eyes are protected by a see-through scale. Venomous snakes use venom, which is poison, to paralyze or kill their prey. These snakes have special teeth called fangs, in which they bite and insert the venom into their prey. Prey are animals that are caught and eaten for food. It is important to treat all snakes with caution and respect, but remember that most snakes are not venomous and will only bite if threatened or cornered. I'm working on my small snake. As you can see, he's green. I grabbed the inspiration from the cover of the book, but I do want to make different color patterns. So I have red, black, yellow. I may do some white, but this is where I'm at with my small snake. There are over 3,000 species of snakes around the world living on all continents except Antarctica. You can find snakes way up high in the mountains or down low in the sea. Bam! Look at all our snakes! 
We finished them. Um, aren't they pretty cool, guys? Yeah. Well, who did this one? Caden. He's blue, yellow, and green. I like this guy's eyes. I think they're really cool. This one's mommy's. At first, I had green and red picked out, and I thought that looked too much like Christmas. So I brought in black, yellow, and white. And so this little twirly guy, I think I can hide him in a tree, and no one will see him. What do you think, Much? Maybe in the grass. In the grass? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Alright, so that's mommy's. And who's this guy? That's mine. Oh, he's twirling around. And also, I, I wrote, you're too slow. It may not look like it, but oh. it's the best I can. And this is your Sonic snake? Yeah, they call seven chaos The seven chaos Awesome, so this snake is considered a fast snake, and this one's the slow one? No, this one's fast at like twirling around. Oh, awesome. And here is my snake. It's all based on the book that I showed you guys. Look at it. He's got black and yellow, some eyes, crazy eyes. I think he will blend in with dirt and sand. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Who do you think will win in a battle? Oh, I will be this ah. guy. Ah. Then. Then, okay. Kaden is this guy, Munch is the orange. Ah, we're attacking. Ba, 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 Munch is swirling one, the Sonic. These guys. <coughs> Whoa. Ah, let's tell our Playtime City friends bye. 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 Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.